in! No, no! You let me in! No! Will you please let me in? No! Skin absorption, dermal absorption. What is getting into our bodies? What skincare is actually doing the things that it claims to do? That's what we're here to talk about. Baby, can you bring me the A? Okay. Can you put it right here? Okay. Almost. Thanks, buddy. So today, pure science. We're gonna talk about the actual act of our skin absorbing something, how stuff is getting in. And next week, what we're gonna talk about is the practical application of that. So pay attention today, because it's all gonna play into next week. And there's an option for a third week if you guys are interested, and that is chemicals, toxins, what is getting absorbed into our skin, how they measure that, uh, we could look at several chemicals and see some of the scientific studies that they use on the CIR to see, you know, how those chemicals are maintained in the body, what it implies. If you're interested in that third week, hit me up in the comments below. Let's jump in. Because after all, this, this is supposed to be fast. Do you see it? <laughs> are you ready? Because I don't feel like you're ready. It's the green screen! So to talk about skin absorption, we have to talk about the skin's layers. Remember, at the very top is the epidermis, in the middle is the dermis, and down here at the bottom is the subcutaneous layer. Now, up here at the top, at the epidermis, you remember I have a video on this, the four layers of the epidermis. I'll link it below in the description box. I'm not gonna go into too much about it. But what I'm gonna remind you of is that the epidermis is made up of keratinocytes. This is a type of cell. It's a tough, fibrous, horny cell. They start out down here at the bottom, they make their way up here to the top. That takes 30 days. Um, when they get to the top, they're called something more specific, and that is a corneocyte, okay? When they get up here to the top, they're almost at the end of their days. They're getting ready to die and sloth off. They are somewhat already dead. But what's interesting to note is that when they get up here to the top, they are held together what's by what's called desmosomes, which is a type of cellular junction. Remember, we've talked about cellular junctions before when we talked about AHAs and BHAs. That's the primary mechanism of action there. Um, so just remember that these cells are held together by something called desmosomes, okay? But as these um, corneocytes are up here at the top, they're also held together by a lipid-rich secretion. If you remember, oil and water do not like each other very much. So that oily secretion, that lipid-rich secretion that holds our cells together, they, they call it the intercellular cement. That is what helps keep our skin waterproof. And it is also what keeps us from absorbing a lot of things. Now, down here is the dermis, and the dermis is alive. It's a connective tissue. It is made up of hair follicles, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, blood vessels, lymph vessels. There is a party going on down here in the dermis. Now, ding, important to note that when you are sold beauty products, they are making claims that affect just this area called the epidermis. They are not allowed to make claims in the US or the UK that their beauty products affect the dermis. If they make claims that it affects the dermis, then they are technically calling themselves a medication according to the FDA and the regulatory um, commissions in the US. So just important to know, all those claims, all that hype, just this really thin layer of skin up here. So now that we have our background, what are we actually talking about? We're talking about diffusion. And diffusion is essentially where things from a high concentration flow to an area of low concentration. There are three ways in which they think this occurs. The first is the intercellular lipid pathway. Remember that 
intercellular cement we just talked about. They believe that stuff can get in that way. The next way is transcellular permeation. That means that the corneocytes are absorbing the substance and passing it down through the cells. The last one is through appendages, like hair follicles and sweat glands. However, to make it more complicated, there are other factors that affect absorption. Number one, the site. So in a study that I read, the chin actually absorbed more of a substance than the forehead, and they really couldn't explain why. Number two, the size of the molecule. So chemicals have molecular weights, they have molecular sizes, and that affects how it is absorbed into the skin. Remember when we talked about glycolic and lactic acid? Well, glycolic acid actually has a smaller molecular size, which is why they believe it's more effective. Number three, the polarity of something. Now, we're not gonna get into that because that really takes us into the chemistry world and I'm not a chemist. Number four is the type of substance. Is it water-based or oil-based? Our skin actually absorbs oil-based things better than water-based things. And yeah, we're gonna talk about next week whether or not face oils can actually be moisturizing. Because <laughs> I don't think they are. Number five, the status of the skin. Are there micro tears in the skin? Is the skin barrier damaged? Is the skin hydrated? All of those things affect absorption. Number six, the environment. Is it a hot, humid environment? Those things affect absorption. And lastly, number seven, occlusion. Is the substance being occluded, maybe like with a bandage or a patch or a face mask. Um, but essentially when they use transdermal medications, a lot of times it will be placed under an occlusive bandage. So if you were in the ER and you were getting nitroglycerin, they would place it under a piece of paper to try to hold that to the skin and prevent the air from absorbing it. So. That's it for this video, guys. Are you excited about next week? Don't forget, if you're interested in that third video where we talk about um, chemical absorption into the body, uh, leave it in the description box below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.